The iPhone 15 Pro is the one to get if you want a powerful flagship, you can easily use it with one hand. Not only is the titanium design stronger and lighter, Apple made the design smaller and slimmer bezels. You also get very strong cameras with night mode and portrait improvements, blazing performance from the A17 Pro chip and a smart action button. Too bad only, the iPhone 15 Pro Max gets the longer 5x zoom. The iPhone 15 Pro looks and feels like a shrunken flagship and I mean that in a good way. Apple ditched the stainless steel band for a tougher and lighter aluminium and I immediately felt the difference when I picked up this device. It was 6.6 .6 ounces compared to the 7.27 ounces for the iPhone 14 Pro and Galaxy S23 is still lightest at 5.93 ounces. However, the iPhone 15 Pro is even smaller now than the Galaxy S23 measuring 5.77 by 2.78 by 0.32 inches versus 5.76 by 2.79 by 0. 3 to 0 0.36 inches for the Samsung. This is thanks to Apple offering its smallest bezels over on an iPhone. It gets better, the iPhone 15 Pro has new contour design so the edges are rounded instead of sharp and squared off. I found that this makes the new iPhone more comfortable to hold as it doesn't dig into your hands. The iPhone 15 Pro color options aren't exactly thrilling. I tested blue titanium which pops the most of the bunch but I really like the natural titanium option for a more minimalist look. The black titanium and white titanium models are kinda meh. Apple has made the jump from the lightning connector to USB-C and there's clear benefits for users. For one, you can charge your iPhone, MacBook and iPad all using the same cables. Yes, there's a cable in the box but no charger as with other recent iPhone. The iPhone 15 Pro supports USB 3 transfers to your MacBook or a storage device at up to 10 Gbps speeds, which is better than the USB 2 speeds offered by the regular iPhone 15 series. Just keep in mind that you will need to buy a separate USB 3 rated cable. Another plus is that you can charge other Apple devices from your iPhone via USB C. This includes the Apple Watch and the new AirPods Pro 2 with USB C charging case. I tried this and the new AirPods is started charging instantly. It's time to hang up on the mute switch. The iPhone 15 Pro replaces it with a new action button which by default toggles silent mode on and off with a long press so you don't lose anything. You can even feel the vibration in your pocket so you know what mode your phone is in. A short press tells you the current ringer status. Things get a lot more interesting when you dive into the settings app where you can assign various shortcuts to the action button using an initiative interface. You can choose to launch the camera, flashlight, voice recorder, magnifier and more. Some of the options let you customize actions within an app. For example, I tried launching straight into a selfie with the action button. If you want to get very creative, you can use the shortcuts app on your iPhone to program very specific actions. You can launch any app you want, start a text with a specific contact or pick your robot vacuum out of the pool. The only bummer with the action button is that you can assign it only a single action at once. I hope Apple opens things up over time. The iPhone 15 Pro 6.1 inch display doesn't bring anything new to the table but based on my testings, it's still one of the best OLED screen you will find on a phone and because the bezels are smaller now, the experience is a bit more immersive. Two other welcome features carry over from the iPhone 14 Pro. The dynamic island comes in handy for live alerts and activities at the top of the screen whether you want to see the status of your override, switch Spotify tracks or check your flight info on the fly. The second feature is the always on display which lets you check the time, battery status and notifications without having to unlock your phone. When watching the trailer for the Marvels, Brie Larson's red, blue and gold outfit popped against an electrified sky and because this is a 120Hz panel, you will enjoy smooth strolling and gameplay in supported titles. The iPhone 15 Pro's display is rated for 1600 nits of peak brightness and 2000 nits in direct sunlight. In our testing, we saw 1550 nits when showing HDR content, which is considerably brighter than the Galaxy S23's 1340 nits. 
In terms of color reproduction, the new iPhone 15 Pro fell behind the Galaxy S23 on the sRGB and DCI-P3 tests. So Samsung offers more colors overall, but the iPhone delivered more accurate hues and a Delta E score of 0.14, while 0 is best. The iPhone 15 Pro packs a number of great camera upgrades including a physically bigger main 48 megapixel sensor that shoots 24 megapixel peaks by default. You can always go higher with a 48 megapixel Pro raw photos or pick the HEIFF format to save space. The iPhone 15 Pro also lets you take portrait shots without having to enter portrait mode as it can sense depth info in your photos. After you shoot, you can control not just in depth effect but also choose your focus point with tap and the night mode also gets a photonic inching boost with even better low light shots. Based on my extensive camera testing versus the best camera phones, the iPhone 15 Pro delivers consistently great results with the most dynamic range, just don't expect the best zoom. Here are some photo samples, you can check it out. It probably won't surprise you to hear that the iPhone 15 Pro is fast thanks to its A17 Pro chip, but it's more about this processor enables than its benchmark scores. As the world's first 3 nanometer chip, the A17 Pro promises 10% better CPU performance, up to 2x faster performance in machine learning tasks, and up to 20% faster graphic speed into its 6 core GPU. This GPU is also supports ray tracing, which delivers console like lightning and reflections in games, something I tried in Diablo Immortal. I got completely sucked by in this title as I followed enemy footsteps to battle over a dozen enemies on screen at once. The action never slowed down, and everything from the moonlight reflecting off puddles on the ground to the electric charges coming from my fist over. Apple is also working with game developers to bring AAA titles to the iPhone including Capcom's Resident Evil Village. I was appropriately horrified as zombies kept trying to bite my arm and I tried to fend them off with a gun, knife and then just running. The touch controls were quite dizzying, so you might want to pick up a dedicated gaming controller that snaps onto your iPhone if you are serious about gaming. On Geekbench, which measures overall performance, the iPhone 15 Pro hits 2890 on a single core and 7894 on multi core compared to just 1396 by 48082 from the Galaxy S23 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Apple has also beaten Samsung on graphic performance through its not a huge margin. The iPhone 15 Pro notched 94.3 frames per second on 3D Mark Wildlife Unlimited versus 87 FPS for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The iPhone 15 Pro's result was 20 frames higher than the iPhone 14 Pro bottom line. Right now, the iPhone 15 Pro is the best gaming phone along with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The iPhone 15 Pro's Sandy range is better than the iPhone 14 Pro, but it's not enough to make our list of best phone battery life. On our battery test, which involves continuous web surfing at 150 nits of screen brightness, the iPhone 15 Pro lasted 10 hours and 53 minutes. That's 40 minutes longer than the iPhone 14 Pro and nearly 2 hours longer than the Pixel 7 Pro. We consider 11 hours or more to be excellent. By comparison, the Galaxy S23 lasted 10 hours and 27 minutes with its display in adaptive mode and a longer 11 hours and 20 minutes in 60Hz mode. The iPhone 15 Pro doesn't let you adjust the refresh rate, it's dynamic. For more info, check out our iPhone 15 battery life report, so see how long all four models last versus the competition. In terms of charging, we saw an even better rate than the claimed 50% capacity in 30 minutes from Apple using a 20W adapter and using USB-C, a drained iPhone 15 Pro reached the 57 mark in a half hour. Still, other Android phones like the OnePlus 11 offer even faster charging. 
The iPhone 15 Pro runs iOS 17 out of the box and there's a few standout features for me. One is name drop which lets you share your contact info with just a tap to another compatible iPhone or Apple Watch, it's like magic. I also like a standby mode which turns your iPhone into a mini alarm clock when docked via MagSafe or just turned on its side when being charged via USB-C. I tried this on a built-in dock and it worked well but the magnetic connection wasn't strong enough. Other highlights include live voicemail for getting real-time transcriptions of incoming calls so you can decide it if it's worthwhile picking up. If you are on the fence between the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, it's not an easy call. I personally prefer the iPhone 15 Pro Max because you get a bigger display and 3 hours of extra battery life, plus only the Pro Max has a 5x telephoto zoom. However, the iPhone 15 Pro has a more compact design and some people simply prefer a small phone. The iPhone 15 Pro also starts at a cheaper $999 US dollar for 128GB compared to $1199 US dollar and 256GB for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So it comes down to what's most important to you. The iPhone 15 Pro is a stellar flagship phone for the price offering the fastest performance around, a lighter and a more compact titanium design and an action button that's easy to customize. I just wish the action button could do more than one thing at a time. The cameras also perform very well with welcome portrait mode enhancement and even better low light peaks. However, I wish Apple could find a way to squeeze the same 5x optical zoom from the iPhone 15 Pro Max into the iPhone 15 Pro and competing Android flagships offer double the digital zoom range. If it were my money, I would splurge for the iPhone 15 Pro Max but the iPhone 15 Pro is a slick powerhouse for those who prefer a mini pro. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.